thank you so much for this uh, kind words. It's, it's uh, a very great pleasure for me to be here in, at uh, Berkeley. This is my first visit to, to California, my first visit to, to, uh, to the West Coast in general. So, also in this respect, it's a very great pleasure for me. Uh, okay, I will talk a little bit about the, the, the situation in, in, in Lebanon. Uh, I was there, well, I go there repeatedly, but last time I was there, I was uh, uh, in, the, in the beginning of the summer, uh, May and early, early in June, and I'm in, in doing research on, on various uh, discourses on, on secularism and then sectarianism in, in, in Lebanon. Uh, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, I uh, was uh, earlier uh, director of the Finnish Institute in the Middle East. That is uh, still basically, or at least in theory, located in, in, in Damascus. Uh, but the institute, it's a scientific institute, and uh, it, it basically covers the whole area. So it's not only concentrated on, on, on Syria. Uh, this is a picture from the, from the, the institute. It's a traditional, very beautiful, beautiful Arab house located in the old city of, of uh, Damascus, close to Bab Sharqi, if you, if you know Damascus in the Christian uh, part of the, of the uh, old city. Unfortunately, this beautiful building was uh, damaged in a, in a in mortar attack uh, approximately one uh, week ago. I don't exactly what happened and how bad uh, the, uh, uh, the damages are. Probably not that bad, but still it tells something about the, the worsening situation also in, in, the, in the old, you know, the old city of Damascus has very much been uh, Outside of the of the of the war, uh, untouched by by the war. This is this uh, mortar attack uh, in in that area was one of the first, uh, and perhaps tells something about uh, the fact that uh, the, the opposition forces are, are getting more and more uh, better uh, weapons, and in the, of course we can all. Expect that that uh, what happened in the in the historic old city in Aleppo may <coughs> also happen in, in, in Damascus. Unfortunately, I left Damascus uh, in in the beginning of uh, of uh, 19, uh, 12, uh, 11. Uh, at that point, uh, you know, the show was going on in in, in Tunisia and. and, and uh, Egypt and in, in Damascus, the people talked uh, if anything is going to happen in, in Syria, if, is it possible? And uh, the general uh, atmosphere was, uh, or opinion was that no, nothing is going to happen in, 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 in Syria. Uh, but since then, many things have happened as you, as you all, all know. Okay, uh, as you all know, the, the question of a secularism, whatever is meant by the term in different contexts and, 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 and countries, has been in the very center of, of political debates uh, in the Arab world uh, since the, the, the beginning of the uh, so-called Arab Spring. Perhaps a bit surprising given the, the very uh, bad economic situation that so much emphasis has been put on, on uh, identity questions. But nevertheless, this has been, has been the case uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's clear that the, or more likely that the, this kind of situation is going to uh, go on for a long period of time in the in the region. Lebanon, uh, by any standards, is um, a unique system in the region 
in terms of its uh, social and, and political orientation. Uh, this very long uh, tradition of liberalism that makes it uh, very different from other countries uh, in the in the area. At the same uh, at the same time, uh, sectarianism or confessionalism uh, is uh, is uh, the salient feature of the political system. Uh, in Lebanon and has always been since the beginning of the modern modern uh, modern state. So that means that uh, uh, power is formally shared between 18 uh, officially accepted uh, sects. Uh, there are and have always been contrasting uh, interpretations. Uh, as regards the level of democracy in, in Lebanon. Some uh, celebrate this, this Lebanese model, so-called consensus democracy or console. How do you pronounce that? Consociation. Oh, too, too, too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a word that comes from the Arab lib part. <laughs> from the 70s, I guess, and then and, and Lebanon is, is uh, uh, often seen as, as a, as a non-Western example of this model, and uh, and, and some uh, commentators really really uh, uh, celebrate this this system as a sign of pluralism and adherence to be to be different, it's seen a, a kind of multiculturalism. Uh, and uh, after 9-11, this uh, Lebanese model has been advanced uh, as, as, as a model of democratization for other ethnically or ethno-religiously uh, divided states. The 2005 constitution of Iraq is a good example of, of, of this. And also in case of Syria, there are a number of uh, suggestions that, uh, that, that, that Syria, after the eventual collapse of the uh, Assad regime, should follow the model of the, of the, of the Lebanese uh, system. Uh, that's the only possibility to take into account the, the fears of the, of the minorities not only Alawites, but, but Christians and, and so on. So this is one, uh, one uh, point of view. Uh, others, uh, however, uh, strongly deny the very democracy of the Lebanese model. There's a uh, quotation from the former, for, for, uh, former uh, Prime Minister Salih Hoss, and as you can see, he was very, very skeptical, skeptical in terms of, of democracy in, in Lebanon. I guess if, if you talk with the Lebanese people, most uh, people, irrespective of their background and the educational uh, level, as well, they admit that there are huge problems in, in, in terms of, of, of democracy in, in Lebanon. Uh, if you think about the modern history of, of Lebanon uh, during uh, the past few decades, there are two uh, recent periods uh, when there was a clear possibility towards more inclusive democratic system, even majoritarian system. And one of uh, these, or first of these, is of course uh, right after the end of the Lebanese civil war uh, uh, in the end of the 80s. Uh, uh, the tight agreement that uh, ended the civil war and the amended uh, constitution from 1990 uh, required specifically the abolition of the political confessionalism, as you say. Uh, there's a 
gradual plan included. Unfortunately, it's very, very unspecific or non specific. Uh, and uh, in practice, nothing or almost nothing happened after, after this end of, of the civil war. There are a number of factors that, that contribute to this, this uh, uh, failure. Of course, the most important is the fact that, that Lebanon remained under the Syrian domination uh, in, in that period. And uh, Syria was uh, not willing to implement the Taif Agreement. It was uh, in the very interests of Syria to, to keep Lebanon divided. And therefore they, they, they made all they could to, to, uh, to stop the implementation of the agreement. But there are also other, other uh, reasons that are related to, to uh, the situation in, in, in Lebanon at that point of time. Uh, first of all, uh, it may well be that the winners of the time were not willing to change the system. Before the Civil War, uh, Christians or Maronites in practice uh, had uh, made use of the sectarian system. It was uh, useful for them. And after the Civil War, it was uh, Muslims and especially uh, Sunni Muslims that uh, whose situation uh, got better. And uh, now they try to use make of the, of the sectarian system. Uh, then this fact that um, Prime Minister Hariri's uh, neoliberal policy uh, weakened the middle, uh, middle class and, and of course also uh, underclass uh, in, in Lebanon. That was not uh, Hariri, I'm talking about uh, Hari, the father, Rafiq al Hariri. Uh, he really tried to, to create uh, a cross sectarian bourgeois under his leadership, but this whole system failed. Uh, middle class became poorer, and Therefore, they became more dependent on the, uh, on the sectarian communities. And there was no possibility to create uh, common interests between different sects. And then, uh, there's also one important factor, namely uh, the fact that that so-called resistance or Muqawama uh, became only Shia. Uh, it was Iran's uh, explicit will to make Muqawama only Shia. It meant that not only the leaders of the resistance uh, were Shia, so that was not enough, uh, it meant also that all the members, or practically all the members of, of, of the Mukawama uh, uh, were only Shia. You know, there are many of the initiators of the Mukawama against Israel in, in late 70s and early 80s were left-wing uh, liberals. Uh, and they felt very disappointed that they were sent home. They, and, and their arms were taken away. They went to Damascus, I have heard many of these stories, and, and complained uh, to, to, to uh, Assad, the father, that, that, uh, and I blame any, that, that, uh, why is, 
so that that uh, non-religious uh, fighters, secular fighters, uh, cannot participate in the, in this muqawama. Uh, but it really showed that that Iran played the first violin in this in this case, and not Syria. Uh, Another point of time when there could have been, been possibility for a democratic, democratic transition uh, was, uh, of course, during and after the so-called Cedar Revolution of 2005, when, uh, when uh, Syrian troops were eventually forced to, to leave Lebanon after uh, a decades presence. Uh, from around 2002, there had been small demonstrations against sectarianism and uh, Syrian dominance in Lebanon. These two things went together. Uh, these uh, demonstrations were very much limited to intellectual circles, uh, uh, university campuses, they were small, and so on. And, and very many of the participants were, were Christians. Opposition against, uh, uh, against uh, serious presence was a very much a uh, Christian thing. Uh, nevertheless, there were among the non-sectarian groups or cross-sectarian groups at that point, there were those who understood that getting Syria out should be more than a Christian call. There should be something that it should be something that could could cross the, the, the sectarian lines. Could could uh, example of this is uh, is a party uh, uh, called Tajadut, which was one of the initiators of this March uh, 14 alliance uh, after after uh, the, the Syrian uh, after the murder of. of uh, Hariri. They thought that it was important, important to bring in people from, from all sectarian backgrounds. There was even an idea that Hezbollah could be part of this movement. So that, of course, it not realized, but, but they was thinking that, that, that there should be a, a broad movement. Anyhow, uh, 2011 uh, was a, a crucial change uh, since Muslims and Christians found a common point uh, in, in trying to get uh, Syria uh, out of the country and, and there was lots of hope uh, at that time. Uh, how, however, there was no agreement whatsoever what kind of state uh, Lebanon should be after S Syrian withdrawal. People had uh, different uh, reasons to demonstrate and, and no common point uh, was uh, found. There were those who really wanted structural change in the, in the, in, in the Lebanese system, however, included. But already uh, in 2005, uh, members of the March 14 Alliance who came from uh, non-sectarian parties such as Democratic Left Movement or Tajadud uh, very much uh, disappointed. What happened was a big disappointment for them. Uh, Sectarian, traditional sectarian parties managed to sideline 
all the non-sectarian compon components uh, in, the, in the movement. Many activists, when you talk with them now, say that, uh, that at that time, of, at that time uh, non-sectarian participants did not understand that there could have been a market for non-sectarian parties in, in Lebanon. And uh, consequently, uh, most activists who came from this kind of background uh, left uh, uh, political parties and, and joined NGOs. They felt that in, they had better possibilities to, to uh, work uh, in, in NGOs. The atmosphere was much more free. Some became totally disgusted with politics. Uh, there were also other factors that contributed to this, this, uh, this failure. Of course, the Second Lebanon War in 2006, when uh, it was uh, Hezbollah, sectarian movement per se, uh, that became the guardian of, of, of the Lebanon and not the Lebanese army. And then there are many other things that, that uh, contributed to the fact that, that uh, after 2005 uh, sectarianism uh, became even stronger than it had been earlier. Uh, Iraq uh, civil war, for instance, of course, played a major role in this development, uh, where sectarian identities uh, became to play a much more important role, not only in Lebanon but in the in the whole region. Uh, in, in terms of uh, Arab Spring in Lebanon, uh, there are uh, two things that, that need to be uh, known. First, uh, firstly, uh, we must remember that, that Lebanon or Lebanese people have very much similar, if not identical, grievances as elsewhere uh, in, in the region. Corruption is a terrible problem. Uh, you know, the, in the Lebanese case, it's always the prime minister who's the richest man in the, in the country. It's Hariri and, and uh, uh, what's the name of this Tripoli guy who is now the caretaker? Current caretaker prime minister. Never, I, can never, hmm? <laughs> I can see him, but I can't yeah. remember Yeah, okay. In any case, it's sort of, and, and so on. There are huge problems in terms of, of services. You don't have electricity and, 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 and so on. Inequality is, uh, is, is a major problem and so on. So there were, in the background, there were many factors that played a major role in, in the other countries of the so the situation in, in this respect the situation in, in in Lebanon was not that much different. Also and the the uprisings in especially in, in Egypt and also in, in, in Tunisia they shattered the the long established myth uh, of, of the Lebanese democracy. You know, Le Lebanese uh, politicians especially are always uh, tended to say that, that Lebanon is the only Arab country with living former presidents. And, and, and in Lebanon is a totally different case for, for, uh, for uh, a different case from other uh, states in the, in the region. And now, 
suddenly it seemed that uh, something much more important is happening elsewhere in the region and not in, in, in Lebanon, which should have been one card. And many felt that uh, that something should be done also in, in, in Lebanon. Uh, since uh, 2008-2009, they had been uh, so-called light bright marches uh, for secularism and women's rights in, in Lebanon. So this, this kind of march is uh, predated the, the, uh, the Arab Spring. Typically, these marches, uh, they were not very political. It, it was kind of a, a lifestyle uh, thing. You know, uh, light, it's like I like. Liberal people from, from upper middle class or middle class background, city people who, who uh, wanted to demonstrate that they have uh, they should have possibility for a liberal uh, Western type of, of, of lifestyle. But now, uh, in in early uh, early 2011, as elsewhere, these demands uh, that had been there uh, politicized and more massive demonstrations uh, uh, became to, to, to happen. Uh, in some cases, in, in, uh, in the spring of 2011, there were perhaps marches or rallies with, uh, say, 20,000 participants who demanded uh, for the change. Uh, but what the change could mean in the in the Lebanese context, when when uh, when people in in, in Cairo or uh, uh, or elsewhere uh, shouted, "Ashab uh, Yurid is part in is part in Islam," people want to overturn or was in to overturn the regime. What's the regime in in, in Lebanon in the Lebanese kind of? Society where there's no father, father king or, or president in Allah Mubarak or Bin Ali, and uh, the general interpretation among the demonstrations was that that uh, uh, in Lebanon it's the sectarian system Nizam, which is the Nizam, the, the regime, and that this sectarian system should be abolished. So, uh, among the demands uh, of the protesters, there were demands for the end of sectarianism and, and uh, secular democracy. Uh, you know, sectarianism in, in Lebanon uh, is much more than just uh, power sharing between the different sects on, on the highest level on, of the political system in the sense that the president must be Maronite and, and, and Prime Minister Sunni Muslim and, and, and so on. Uh, it, uh, it also means in the Lebanese case that uh, political parties uh, control school system, they control hospitals, airports, statistics, and the system blocks uh, uh, appointments. For instance, uh, uh, when activists told me that 70% of the posts in the Lebanese embassies outside of, uh, are, are empty because there, there's no right uh, uh, balance between, between the sects. Even in a, you cannot uh, fill a position of, of, of clean lady in airport if there's not balance between the sects. And, and this second level is, is 
thing that most Lebanese, uh, especially activists, complain most about. Not the, the many of them uh, say that the, the very principle of, of sector and power share, sharing on the highest level, as it is in constitution and, and a national pact of 1943, is as such okay or possible. Uh, but the second level and third level problems that uh, that uh, uh, they are the real real problem in the Lebanese case. Of course, uh, there were many other demands, not only this, this demand of, of ending the, the sectarian system. Uh, here are some instances uh, listed of the bit more specific uh, specific demands that uh, demonstrations uh, were mostly peaceful or they tried to be peaceful uh, point was that they were not aimed at uh, any person any not any political person or a political path so the, the idea was that movement tried to stay outside of the of the uh, party politics. Nevertheless, in some cases, there were clashes when, the, for instance, uh, there were uh, demands uh, of disarming Hezbollah and, and so on. But in most cases, uh, cases uh, demonstrations uh, were, were peaceful, and uh, as I men mentioned, uh, in, in some cases, in 2011, there were uh, Perhaps even 20,000 participants, not only in Beirut, but in the in the in the whole Lebanon, that, and that's also important because, uh, generally speaking, the, the this kind of uh, kind of uh, movement, this kind of movements have been very much concentrated uh, to to Beirut. Uh, in terms of people who participant, participated in, in the demonstrations, uh, there are, in my understanding, four main groups. There were these uh, liberal-oriented liberal -oriented, uh, lifestyle people who had participated in, in, uh, in uh, demonstrations uh, earlier. Then there were policy-oriented oriented civil society groups uh, that demanded uh, concrete changes uh, in the system, in election laws, nationality laws, and, and, and so on. Then there were uh, anarchist left-wing parties uh, who wanted uh, put down practically, practically everything. And then, uh, importantly, there were also members of sectarian parties that pretend that they are not sectarian, even, even though they are, are, are sectarian. For instance, uh, Amal movement, uh, members of Amal movement uh, took part in these demonstrations. Uh, Problem is, or was, and still is, that uh, there was never a real mass movement. Uh, sectarian parties were always uh, much more uh, successful in, in rallying people than this kind of cross-sectarian movement. And uh, after uh, uh, 2011, uh, these marches uh, have become uh, smaller once again. Uh, the movement has uh, split it into various movements that have more more uh, specific uh, uh, agendas. Election uh, reform, civil marriage, and, and so on. 
here are some some uh, pictures from their Facebooks or some other places where, where these kind of movements are were and still are active. Ijram fasad taifia. Ijram is criminality and fasad is corruption. Taifia, of course, is, is sectarianism. What is important here that the, the main problems of this Lebanese society, criminality and 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 uh, corruption are 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 very much linked with the, the system, the sectarian system. And I think this, this picture and the text very much tells uh, what it's all about. All the, all the main politicians are included in this nice, nice picture. Uh, there are, of course, uh, many reasons uh, for the failure of, of the movement. Uh, these are, these are reasons that come up very often when you talk with the people who participated and still, to some extent, still participate in these activities. Clashing agendas, so there was, these four groups could not find anything that would be clear enough uh, for, for, for a political agenda. And then they pointed to the fact that there were so many sectarian spoilers who made use of the movement. And once again, this kind of movement was too, too much elitist. That has been a problem in, in, in the Lebanese society. And, and uh, perhaps uh, more, most importantly, this kind of, of movement has no resources to compete with sectarian parties. People are economically, economically dependent on sectarian parties and, uh, and other kind of, of parties. They have no economic or, or other resources uh, they could use for the benefit of, the, the, of their uh, members. Then, uh, of course, it's, it was no coincidence that, that the meaning of this movement vanished at the same time with the situation in, 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 in Syria got worse. So the, the fact that, that uh, Syrian uprising quite uh, rapidly changed into more or less sectarian conflict very much uh, influence situation in Lebanon as well. <coughs> Some other pictures, El Mania, Hill Hal is of course made according to, to, to Islamist slogan according to its uh, Islam that is the solution but here it is it is uh, sectarianism. This is from AUB uh, Secular Club, Secular Club of the American University in Beirut, which has been one of the most important uh, important players in this movement. It's it's very typical that it's it's this kind of, of, of a bit uh, elitist uh, background. I mean, those Lebanese who study in. in AUB, they, they come from different backgrounds than, than most people in, in, in the country. What's the translation? Uh, the secularis secularism is the, is the solution. So it's when you have, when the brothers, Muslim uh, brothers say it's Islamism. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. And then there's uh, also in Arabic, Nadi al Elmani. Secular club, and here's other other text: uh, "Kill the sectarianism before it kills you." <laughs> These kind of, of, of slogans uh, in the internet and, and painted on the walls are, are very very common in, in, in Lebanon. But the problem is that that. Uh, 
most people don't care and, or don't care enough in order to do, do something meaningful. This is from this, uh, this uh, uh, May in, in, in downtown Beirut, uh, the Lebanese parliament extended its um, mandate for, for extra 17 months and uh, the elections were postponed and, and uh, this is a demonstration against this, this uh, extension. Uh, people uh, said, I was present there, and then they said that, that uh, yeah, even in Syria and Libya there are elections. Why can't you have elections in, in, in Lebanon? The situation is not that bad. It can't, because all, all the politicians of course said that the security system is so problematic that you can't uh, hold proper elections. But. Uh, once again, it's, uh, it's very typical that number of, of people that uh, were present in this, this, uh, this kind of demonstration was very limited. Some tens of people, perhaps some hundreds in best cases, but very, very limited. You hardly notice them in, in only in the in very city of, 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 in the downtown Bay, otherwise it was nothing. So another picture which uh, I don't know if you have seen, it, is, it has begun quite famous, it's from uh, uh, Ali uh, Fazat, a well-known uh, Syrian cartoonist, uh, and uh, there you have the Britain uh, on, on the back of that monster, that sectarian system, and the sectarian monster comes from, from the very small cage. Uh, and, and the point, of course, is that, that uh, nobody could expect that the, that kind of big monster could, could uh, come out from the good witnesses of, of the demonstrators, uh, demonstrators. This tells something about the larger uh, regional uh, Situation which have very much influence also also Lebanon. Oh, this is also from uh, Beirut. It says, uh, "When will the civil war end?" No, it should have ended decades ago. But and, and then there's a, a two, once again the text that. Uh, to take down the sectarian system. So you can see this kind of, of slogans everywhere, especially in, 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 in certain parts of Beirut and other cities, but still it, nothing really big has not happened. And given the, 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 the larger uh, regional picture, it's, it's very unlikely that, that something is going to happen. When you talk with the activists, they say that uh, Perhaps at the point when, uh, when uh, people have noticed that the, the Islamists have no solution how, to, to the real problems, at that point it's possible that this kind of, of movements will, will once again uh, rise up in, in, in not only in Lebanon but in the, in the whole area. Uh, there has been, as you probably have, uh, followed the one instance where, where a secular movement has been successful. You know, this, this spring, uh, it was late April or early May, for the first time in the, in the history of, of Lebanon, a civil marriage uh, was uh, registered in, in Lebanon after very, very uh, long uh, dispute and, and some people say that this is a sign that that, uh, that, that the Lebanese society is uh, uh, is changing and that this can be understood uh, as, a, uh, as a step towards a civic state with uh, equal citizenship 
towards a state where people uh, feel they belong to a nation and, and not uh, to, to their own religious sect. The, the whole thing was, was based on, on a legal uh, loophole. Uh, that was uh, noticed by, by clever advocates or attorneys. Uh, first, there are two, two bases for this, this possibility. Uh, first of all, since 2009 it has been possible to remove re religious affiliation from official documents. Anybody could have removed his or her sect from official papers. It's the same thing, by the way, that, that has happened in Israel. There's an interesting parallel in, in those two countries in the, in the region. Even, even though in Israel they have not uh, so far gotten this far as in the Lebanon, in, in, in Israel civil marriage is not as possible in, in, in the country. Another thing uh, that, that uh, 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 made this possible uh, was an old uh, French law from the uh, mandate period which stated uh, or states that civil marriage is uh, civil marriage is possible for people with no official religious affiliation it was meant at that point it was meant for those people who belong to the to, to the sects that were not officially accepted like bahais or ismailis but now clever lawyers uh, found uh, found out this possibility to to, to to get a, uh, a civil marriage performed uh, in, 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 in Lebanon, you only need to go to, to office and, and abolish your, your religious uh, uh, affiliation, and after that it's possible to, to, to do that. And now at the moment there's a huge debate going on, on uh, over, over this team, the religious establishment, Christians, Muslims, Shia, and, and so all of them uh, decry this, 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 this kind of development very, very strongly. And uh, this is, uh, it, even in the best case, this is only the, the very first, very first uh, uh, step. All other, other uh, matters that are, are related to personal statutes are still uh, governed by religious courts, inheritance in case of, of, of Muslims and, and, and so on domestic violence for instance but still some people say that this is uh, this is something that uh, meaningful uh, but to be honest the number of people who have uh, done this who have uh, taken their uh, official or sect affiliation from the official paper is something like 1000 and it's not much so, even in the very best ca case, this is only the very, very beginning of a long process. But still, it's important that, that it, something like that happens. Okay, thank you very much.